We were fighting for our lives. It was, you know, the ice was cutting our skin. It was like getting in a fight with like a tiger or a cougar. You know, it was just, it was painful. Mm. And you know, the water actually turned from cold to hot because the hypothermia is setting, setting in. And so we were just trying to fight for our lives. We all knew this was do or die, and we knew that mostly it was going to be die if we didn't do anything significantly to change the outcome. And, you know, eventually, you know, I had drowned, and the other two were saved, and then eventually I was saved after being underwater for 15 minutes. Mm. And so you were underwater. Obviously, when you consider what could have occurred mm -hmm. with, with you and your life, your condition, 15 minutes underwater, in a frozen lake, mm -hmm. I'm sitting here talking to you <laughs> at NRB, and we're talking about a movie based on this set of circumstances that is really incredible. So talk about that period of time and what happened after you had been underwater. You know, it was really like a movie. It was like the point of conflict and then a blackout, and, you know, I couldn't really you know, remember anything. And, you yeah. know, they actually prayed that I wouldn't remember anything, and honestly, the story isn't about what me individually. Um, and which we'll talk about a little later is that this is a community event. Mm. Pastor Jason, yeah. uh, obviously this is an event after John went through the ice. You were the pastor of the, the Smith family, yes. as I understand it. Correct. So tell me about your experiences. Yeah, I mean, you know, it was, a, it was an incredible day when you think that John was under for 15 minutes. Mm, yeah. Uh, right. You know, I mean, usually they say two to three minutes, and that's about it. I mean... Uh, so 15 minutes, they were right ready to pull, uh, they were ready to do a recovery, not a search and rescue. And so when they pulled him out, worked on him for another 45 minutes, his mom walked in the room and she prayed, Holy Spirit, bring my son back to life. And it was a split second decision and his pulse came back. Every apparatus turned on in that room, the power of prayer. From there, he was still brain dead though. Doctors said a 1% chance he would make it overnight. If he did, he'd be a vegetable for the rest of his life. I mean, the prognosis was not good. We took a group of pastors in the room every single organ and catastrophic failure. Um, I mean, it was bleak, 1% chance he would make it. We took a group of pastors in the room, we prayed over him through a series of incredible miracles, God just showing up, uh, power of prayer, community mom, praying mom. He walked out of the hospital 16 days later, completely healed. Oh my goodness, that is incredible. It now, is. I was doing a little math, you were talking about being underwater. John was underwater for 15 minutes. Yes. They, the, the paramedics, I assume, were working for 45 minutes more, so that's a total of an hour without hour, a pulse? An hour and eight minutes. An hour and eight minutes with no pulse. Yes. Yep. The doctor, and the doctor, gave, he just said, there's nothing else we can do. We're done. So invite yeah. his mom in to say goodbye. Oh, my goodness. Well, you're tuned to The Meeting House here on Faith Radio. Jason Noble and John Smith joining me here at the Faith Radio Meeting House Broadcast Center as we discuss the movie Breakthrough in theaters on April the 17th. Well, John, you walked out of that hospital 16 days 16 days 16 days and everything was was fine basically as if this had never happened or tell me about that i, I know health wise mm -hmm. that that may have been the case but there were some other other things we want to talk about too you know the really the only struggle i had was i lost a lot of weight yeah. you know i was down, like from 130 to 112 i was really really skinny um, and then after that you know i had a little issues with my wrist but that was just physical therapy so nothing like medically wrong long term only the short term effects that were i was able to recover through training and physical therapy he was cleared 40 days after by all doctors wow so as we look at the movie and the as we might say the rest of the story what are the parts as you see a pastor that this this movie actually begins to to address you know and I think you say that so well because it's the movies the beginning of the conversation and so um, I know John John struggled with adoption he was adopted so struggling with feeling not wanted you know the things that happen after the story especially for John um, I think those are remarkable you know the fact that God walked him through this journey um, the fact that if God can do it for John he can do it for anybody you know the the, the conversation openers uh, that the movie starts is so important and so vital when we talk about breakthrough. Everybody I talk to says that they need breakthrough in their life in some area. And, you know, that's my feedback is, hey, if, John, if God can do it for John, he can do it for anybody, hmm. you know. And so, um, but I think that time after, um, you know, a lot of people think, well, it must be happy ever after. And it, I mean, it's been, it's been a struggle for John. It's been a struggle. You know, that's probably been the most intense time after the movie was filmed hmm. and after the story. 